So let's, let's move on to communication because we started talking about active listening again. I'll start by asking what the benefits are of learning how to become a better communicator. Our relationship with other people primarily is based on uh, communication. And even if you're using sign language, it doesn't really matter. But one of the things that we fail to appreciate is the value and the importance of nonverbal communication. So let me give you a variation. If I'm speaking to someone on a telephone, I can't tell you uh, what the nonverbal communication is. However, over time, you can train yourself to determine the difference in the person uh, in terms of the way you're hearing it and get some clues about his or her feelings. And so the example that I can give you again, as a psychotherapist, I was providing counseling or psychotherapy for a person who was in Alaska. And he was also on medication. And I sensed that something was wrong. I did not know what it was. And so I said, is there something that I should know that you're not sharing with me? And there was a pause. And the answer is yes. What is it? I've been drinking. And immediately, I was able to trust my own intuition. I knew something was wrong, didn't know what, but it was based on his style of communication at the moment, and it was necessary for the person to be hospitalized. You can really, really fine tune uh, nonverbal communication. But in addition to that, I think that we want to start with the way we communicate. And so that while I realize that we're going to be spontaneous 99% of the time, it would be useful for a while as we are enhancing the scale of communication is that we're more thoughtful. And so that let's say um, I'm doing uh, just a presentation to my class. I want to be more thoughtful as I'm embarking on this new change than I may have been in the past. I may have just been uh, automatic for whatever it is that I do. But this time, I'm going to be more thoughtful, one, about my presentations, and two, how my audience is registering with what I say. Mm -hmm. And finally, I'm going to ask at the end, may I ask you to give me feedback? Are there things that you wish that I might have done differently? You see what we're doing? Right. We're building in something that is more objective than having us rate ourselves as dependent, as, it, as also having others rate us based on our ability to communicate in a way that's uh, responsive to this, the listener. It's never wise to make an assumption in relation to someone else mm -hmm. because it's too risky. And so rather than making an assumption, ask the person, can you share with me X, Y, and Z? And now we know, as opposed to assuming. Yeah. Did I sense that you were disagreeing with me? It's an example.